Hey guys, uh, today I want to go ahead and talk about how to graph in vertex form. So this is here is called vertex form. This is a quadratic. So we know it's going to look like a U. Now, if you notice here in the front, that's a negative. So that means it's going to be upside down. It's going down. Okay. Upside down just because of the negative. Now the vertex form, this is going to give me my vertex right here. Okay. Now, technically this is what happens. Okay. You take the inside of what's inside the parentheses. You set it equal to zero. And then you solve it, plus 4, plus 4. And so in essence, you get x is equal to positive 4. So the x-coordinate is 4. And this is your y-coordinate. So in essence, your, your vertex is 4, comma, 2. But honestly, I don't need to do all this all the time. I just know that whatever is inside here is going to become the opposite. So that's my vertex. So when I go ahead and graph it, and sorry, it's not going to be as neat as I would like, but... You got one, two, three, four, and then one, two. So we're going to be, this is my vertex, okay? And then we just make a little bit, a few more lines. Now, I know it's going to open downward, okay? Now, this is vertex form, so I just want a nice quick sketch. So what do I need? I just need another point. All right, so what you want to do is you want to work smarter, not harder. Now, here's a, a, an X in here, a minus four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick maybe a 5, because 5 take away 4 is 1, and that's going to be very easy for me to work with. So if x is equal to 5, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and then I'm going to get negative 5 minus 4 is 1 to the second power, and then I'm going to get now 1 to the second power. You have to do this first, okay? Don't do this negative. Do 1 to the second power, that's 1, and then 1 times this negative, that gives you negative 1, and then plus 2. So when I do the math, y is equal to negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. So this point, when I plugged in 5, I got a y value of, five, of 1. So that point is 5 comma 1. So I'm going to come over here. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 comma 1 is right here. All right. Now remember, I know that parabolas or quadratics are symmetrical. So you have a line of symmetry that passes right through the middle. And if it's one unit to the right of the line is going to be one unit to the left of the line. So then I can put this guy right there. All right. And then I know it's going to go downward and I can sketch it like this. And there it is. And that's it. So the essence of the vertex form, you're focusing on making sure you know the vertex and just one additional point and you're going to use the line of symmetry. You're not really focused on where it crosses the x axis. All right. Let's go ahead and do another one. No, and this is uh, a few homework problems I gave my students and they had questions on. All right, number 10, this guy, just by looking at it, can you tell me the vertex? I'll give you guys a few seconds. And it should be negative two comma two. That's right. Okay, just very essence right here. Now, the other thing they should think about, okay, is it gonna open upward or downward? And you gotta look right here in the front Okay, and there's nothing there, so it's a positive one in essence. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up a few, down a few. All right, so negative two, positive two is gonna be right here. Okay, now I need to pick a point. Okay, what y value should I pick? Right, you don't wanna pick something too big. Let's say I pick three. Well, three plus two is five. Five squared, that's 25, plus two is 27. That's too big. I don't wanna be dealing with, with very big numbers. So how about I put, um, how about I put negative, I don't know, negative one. Okay, let's put negative one. Why negative one? Because negative one plus two gives me one. That's a very easy number to work with. Okay, and very simple to graph. Remember, we want to work smarter, not harder. So negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And be careful. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So in this parabola, in this function, we plugged in negative 1 for x. When I plugged in negative 1, what did I get? I got positive 3. So I come over here. And let's use my blue. Uh, negative 1, positive 3. 1, 2, right about there. All right, now remember, here's a line of symmetry. Boom, 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 boom. All right, it looks like it's one unit to the right of the line. I'm going to go one unit to the left of the line. So right about here. And then uh, let's go ahead and just graph it. Again, I don't know where it crosses the x-axis, but for these, I'm not really focused on that. And there it is. 
All right, so um, you're focused on the vertex, you focus on another point, on the symmetry, and this is graphed correctly. All right, last one. Again, you notice what's in front? There's a negative, right? Okay, so I know this guy's gonna be opening downward. Just by looking at it, can I tell my vertex? What do you guys think? Yep, it's gonna be negative three and then positive four. Remember, don't change this guy. Just change this guy right here. All right, so let's go ahead and graph that. That's my vertex, negative three, positive four. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Negative three, one, two, three, positive four, two, and then it's gonna be somewhere right here, right about there. So that's my vertex. So negative three to the left, one, two, three, and then up four. Okay, now what do I do? I need to pick a point. So uh, you notice that this one says f of x, and that's okay. This is the same as if it was y equals, okay? So don't get confused about that. Uh, this is the notation we use in, in higher mathematics, but in, in probably you know, middle school, you probably use just y equals. And, uh, but the, at the higher we go, we use f of x. So what am I going to plug in for x? Think something easy. Um, let's see here. What can I do? Maybe a negative, negative 2 again, maybe, yeah. Let's see, negative 2, if I plug in negative 2, and do a little bit of red here, negative 2. Uh, and what's going to happen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get negative 2 plus 3, which is 1, and I'm going to square it. And this is where you have to be careful, okay? Now, a lot of students, they do negative 2 times 1, but that's incorrect. You have to do the exponent first, all right? So 1 squared is 1, and then negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and then plus 4. All right, and then f of negative two. So we're gonna get negative two plus four is positive two. And that's our point. So our point, by plugging in negative two for the x coordinate, I get positive two. All right, and then I'm gonna come over here. Negative two, positive, negative two, positive two is right about here. And remember, again, here's my line of symmetry, boom, boom. And I didn't draw it correct, exactly, but it's okay. So it should pass through the, the three right here. So one unit to the right is gonna be one unit to the left. And, and then we're just gonna go ahead and graph it. Something like this, something like that. All right. All right. Well, hopefully that helped guys. Um, let me know, if not, I can give you guys some more examples. But in essence, remember, here's your vertex. Pick another point, make it easy for yourself, okay? And then use your line of symmetry to, to mirror it left and right. All right, guys, see you guys next time.